Here is another spectrogram showing a present-day English word. Let's identify the sound segments in it. If you want to try on your own first, pause the video here and use the printout whose link you can find in the video description. Alright, here is my analysis. Clearly, we can identify two portions of friction noise. At the end, we can see a relatively faint portion with a visible but decaying fundamental frequency. So this must be a voiced fricative that becomes partly devoiced. The second one at the beginning clearly represents a voiceless fricative. The friction noise of this initial fricative covers a wide frequency range, thus we are likely to have a post-alveolar fricative here. The final fricative, with some portions of friction noise in the low frequency region, is likely to be a voiced labiodental fricative that becomes voiceless. In the middle, we can identify a big portion of silence, the acoustic equivalent of a closure, with a high frequency but relatively small burst. So this must be a voiceless velar plosive with incomplete plosion, that is, a typical stop. And then we have two vowels, a short one with a duration of less than 100 milliseconds, with the first two formants in a low region. So this must be either a or o. The second vocalic part has a very long duration of more than 400 milliseconds. It also involves a transition of F2 from a very low position via 2000 Hz to about 2700 Hz. So, in fact, we could postulate three vowels, U, E and E. However, since the first part starts with no significant formant structure but involves some friction noise, it must be the labiovelar approximant W instead of U. So, this is the solution. Shock wave.